number of county workers who will have take-home vehicle privileges. A recommendation about tightening up use also was approved. The committee is comprised of Judge Executive Dean Watts and Magistrate Sam Hutchins and Bernard Ice. Under the new policy, the vehicle can be used only for transportation to and from work and so-called dominious personal use, such as stopping on the way to or from work for a personal errand or on a business-related trip. That would include dropping children off or picking them up at school. Only seven people will have take-home vehicles now, compared to 12 previously. Among those losing vehicles were building inspector Logan Spaulding, electrical inspector Don Kaufman, and Nelson County Emergency Management Agency Director Joe Osborne. Meanwhile, in related news, Kevin Brumley, in a statement distributed at the meeting to members of the media, called on Judge Watts to fire Osborne for the use of a county-owned truck several days after Watts had issued a memorandum calling for such vehicles to be parked. Osborne, who said he did use the truck to help move some furniture for his mother, said he had not been made aware of the memo until a day after he had used the truck. Bumley says he also is consulting with the state over the lack of a functioning ethics board in Nelson County, a concern that has been echoed by another local government critic, Dallas Armstrong. Bernie Keene, who was reappointed to the local ethics board two weeks ago, has resigned, telling News 13 this morning that after hearing from Armstrong, he decided he didn't want the stress involved with what he sees as coming controversy. Keene, a former state representative and ABC chair, was one of the original ethics board members when it was formed back in 1994. Bromley and Armstrong contend the board has not really functioned since its inception. Watt said this afternoon the board has met only one time, to his knowledge, and that was over 10 years ago. That concerned an alleged conflict on the recreation board. Watt said he is in the process of finding new members for the ethics board and will be talking with Mayor Dick Heaton about a joint appointment. The appointment is required under the ordinance. Bloomfield and New Haven chose not to participate in the county ethics board and set up their own boards. Another action this morning, the fiscal court did a